I feel like January can kind of suck. Like all the holidays are over, so the excitingness has gone. It's cold, it's dark, the seasonal depression is kicking in, and maybe you just don't have the energy to do a full look, or you just don't want to, but you still wanna feel like put together. This is my go-to makeup where I know it's gonna look good. It's not gonna stress me out. And even if I have little energy or motivation to do it, I can still get it done and feel like a little bit more of a human. For this, I also use a lot of my favorite go-to products because I want them to look good. Like I don't wanna have to worry about experimenting with new makeup. So a lot of these were my previous favorites video of 2023 if you wanna see them in action. But let's go ahead and get started. So I would definitely either reach for the MAC Studio Radiance. I've been using this one so much though, so I wanna slightly change it up, but still another foundation that I know will look good. This is the Rose Ink Soft Light Skin Smoothing in the shade 3N. This has a little bit more coverage because I am currently breaking out. This is more of like a whipped, moussey texture compared to the MAC one, which is definitely more watery. And I just like to pick up the product with my sponge and then start to apply it. And applying this with a sponge does sheer it out a little bit. Makes it slightly more natural looking. Speaking of foundations, I did order the new About Face foundation, which they have so many olive shades in the range and they have a fair olive shade, which honestly I am so freaking excited about. It looks like a really nice, like true olive. Like the Rose Ink foundation had a fair olive shade, but it was a really, really cool olive. So that one didn't necessarily work for me. That's why I use this shade. So yeah, review coming soon. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Also pretty surprised at the price point. Like I think it was only $22, which for like a higher end brand is really refreshing to see. This is a big honker of a pimple. So whenever I have a pimple, I don't usually focus on just foundation or concealer to cover it. I have a powder foundation trick, which if you haven't seen me do already, stay tuned for it because it just looks so much more natural. So right now we're just not gonna worry about it. Before we go in to concealer, I wanna do a cream bronzer. This is the Mob Beauty Bronzer in M77. The cream bronzer also ordered their black lip balm and a new lipstick from them. I'm really excited to get in the mail. The black lip balm sounds so interesting to either really like mute a lipstick shade or to wear on its own. I'm very curious to see how it looks like on my skin. We'll definitely use that in a video. I'm just using my finger for this, by the way, because it's just super easy. And then going in with a brush, just lazily blending this in. I usually reach for creams when I'm doing like really quick makeup. I don't know, it just feels easier to me than a powder. And then I like to go in with my sponge to blend everything in. For concealer, of course, I'm gonna grab the House Labs concealer. This just gets me right, you know? I will do a little bit on the blemishes just as a base layer. Sponge, I'm blending it in. I'm also just gonna put some on my eyelid because I'm too lazy to use an eye primer. Then I'm gonna grab my Iris and Romeo cream blush for a juicy look. I think I wanna buy the rest of their products and do like a full face now that they're on Sephora. This is the shade Rosy Glow, by the way. Just a little bit. I have this weird thing happening like the past probably like a couple of weeks where like my eyes are really watery and like I've always had ear problems and like throat problems. I feel like, I don't know if that's connected. My eyes are just like, I don't know what's going on with them. Anyway, blending this out with a little brush. This is like a slightly darker blush for me, but I really like it when I'm doing these really natural quick looks. Also gives your skin that like really alive type of look and feel, especially if you're not feeling it. You're not feeling alive or good. Blush can help. Sponge to the rescue, just blend everything in. Grabbing my Haley's Beauty Retouch Powder, we're gonna set the under eyes and slightly, actually we'll use a different powder for the face. But if you're doing like super quick look, you could just use the same powder. My skin is so fair that my dark circles, they're just like always there. And instead of covering them with a ton of makeup, because I really don't like the look of cakey under eyes, honestly just like live with them, I'm like, Part of my face, it's all good. So for face powder, I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Press Powder in the yellow shade. Especially when I just did a little bit of foundation, this helps to color correct just a little bit using a Make Beauty powder brush. It's also a slightly glowier powder, so it helps with the radiance of the skin. I actually love doing highlight for really natural quick looks because I just like having really glowy cheeks. The Laura Mercier highlight in 01 is a really finely milled highlight, so it looks really natural. And this com and this combined with the Iris and Romeo blush, it's just so pretty. It just 
I feel like with minimal makeup, a little bit of highlight goes a long way. If you're really in a rush, I would always dedicate the most amount of time to the part of your makeup that you feel like makes you feel the best. For me, if I have a perfected base, like I could have minimal eye makeup. I don't really mind. I just really like having my skin perfected, probably because that's like my number one problem area, I guess, is my redness. But if you like having your eyes more done, focus on that. Maybe do the base after, but 40s pimples. Pure powder foundation. This is the shade LG6. Tiny little brush like this. And I just dab right on the blemishes and then a little bit on a brush just to blend it in. And then you could even go in again. And like, I don't mean to cover them completely. I just don't want them to stand out as much. And the reason this trick really works is if you've had a pimple, which I'm sure we've all had a pimple. If you've gone your whole life without a pimple, how is that possible? But anyway, with concealer or foundation, sometimes it just doesn't want to stick because it's a raised surface. It can be hard to get product to stick on. So instead of layering up a bunch of makeup, it's gonna end up looking cakey. The fact that this is a powder and you could just like press it on the raised area, it just does wonders. For brows, I'm gonna use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Ran out of my Maybelline one and they did not have it in store, so I had to go back to this one. Next, I'm gonna slop on some brow gel, Jones Road Clear Brow Gel. Any clear gels, my personal favorite. Definitely don't like to mess with anything crazy with my brows, especially if I'm feeling lazy or in a rush. Just as a quick, this foundation shade's like a little bit off on me. Sort of see. I think I usually mix that shade actually with the lighter one that I have, but for a transition shade, I'm just gonna use this Persona palette, this lighter shade called Humble. Usually I'll just grab like a powder bronzer or I usually do cream bronzer as well, but I forgot to do that. So I'm just gonna slap that on. For eyeshadow, I always love using like an eyeshadow stick. They're just like so long wearing and easy to use. You can slap on a powder, that's super easy too, but I don't know why, like if I'm doing something quick, I love using shadow sticks. So this is the About Face one in Pearly, which is this really pretty light blue. Once it's on the lids though, it doesn't really pull as blue as you would think. So I just draw it on and then blend it in with my fingers. The RMS Beauty Cream Eyeshadow would be really good for this kind of look too. I'm also gonna put this on the lower lash line. Ugh, my eyes are so watery. Maybe the only thing I think of is they're dry, maybe just from like looking at screens. I've been playing a ridiculous amount of video games. I got Baldur's Gate for Christmas, so I'm so into that game. It's crazy, it's just so good. Next I'm taking the About Face one. Oh wait, why does this one say pearly too? I think that's just the finish, yeah. Okay, this is Dream Syndicate, the shade, and the light blue one is called, I don't know, this one doesn't say. Anyway, this one is just like a soft black, basically dark gray. I'm gonna draw this on my lash line, soften it with my fingers. I like to do a little bit of a wing. Like it's smudgy and it doesn't even look that good, but that's kind of the vibe. Like I kind of slept in this makeup, rock star look. I don't know, just, just make up some sort of delusion for whatever happens when you're doing your makeup. Like embrace the dark circles and the smudginess. I'm just cleaning up the edge with a flat brush. You could do this on the lower lash line as well, but I like to keep my lower lash line bare, especially if I'm doing minimal makeup. I don't know, I just feel like it accentuates my dark circles a little bit less. Going back into the highlight really quick, I'm just gonna take a small brush, pop this on the inner corners and below the brows. And then just use whatever mascara is your go-to. I wanna try out this new one from Bobbi Brown though. It's the Smoky Eye Mascara. Hopefully it looks good. I've never tried it, but let's see. I would usually use brown as well for a natural look, but it's all right. All right, this is quite pretty. It's definitely more voluminizing, like more of a fluttery look. Maybe that's why they call it Smoky Eye Mascara. They're still like this little one. I always recommend having a lash comb on hand. This one I need to clean, especially if you're like just doing your makeup really fast and maybe your mascara got clumpy. This will literally save the day. I wish I had this in high school because I'd always like do a ton of mascara. You know, sometimes it just doesn't go right and you're like, I hate my makeup today. This would have solved that. For lip liner, I'm gonna use my ColourPop Cool BFF, which is my go-to nude lip. And then I've been so in love with this lipstick from Rose Ink. I also mentioned in my favorites video, the shade Eloquent. So you could totally build this up to have it be as bold as this, but I kind of wear it like a 
a balmy wash like i'll just put that on and then blend it out and i feel like the shade is just perfect on me because it's so cool and it has a really balmy formula as well that stays a great amount of time just such a nice like especially if i have really like natural makeup or i did it quick i feel like it's just the finishing touch makes everything look a little bit more polished and if you're doing quick makeup and you want to feel put together i would always suggest going with your favorite makeup and clothing colors like for me that's purple pink or blue for my clothes and makeup i just stick with the cool tones because especially if you're wearing more minimal makeup helps your skin look a little bit more vibrant and a little less like i don't even know what but like if this was warm tones it wouldn't be as great looking on me i feel like this mascara is already flaking on me which is a little annoying we'll see if that gets worse or I don't know but to finish things off i always like to do a little bit of mist to melt in the powder add more radiance i'm gonna use the heritage store rose water and glycerin and then for gloss i probably just use the ColourPop so glassy lip gloss this is the shade poppy goes really well with that purple and there we have it it's not the most perfected look it's not the most glam look we're embracing the imperfections but that's kind of the vibe i feel better about myself than when i first started so that's kind of the point maybe this inspired you to get ready for the day even if you don't feel like it but thank you for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and there'll be a video here so we can keep hanging out i'll see you there bye